Hi everyone, welcome to week three of technical and professional writing. So this week we are going to take kind of our first real step into doing our first long-term project, which is that technical document, writing a manual with instructions. Um, to help you out this week, I have a couple of things that are gonna inform part of your assignment, um, your main assignment. Um, but we have uh, a chapter two of your Bay City College textbook. So make sure that you read that. That's going to talk about ethical and legal obligations of writing. It might not seem at first like there are any, um, but there are quite a number of things to consider. Things like uh, copyright and trademark and what you can borrow and what you can't borrow and how you write things and who you're writing them for and all of that kind of thing. I also have an article um, is using AI to write morally wrong? I wanted to find one that kind of asked that question and didn't just tell you. I have, um, I know that I had the, the first week your, your plagiarism acknowledgement that you would not use AI for this class, but I do want to acknowledge also that um, this is something that might be used in a workplace setting, not here at college where you are learning how to write, but, um, but later on. And so it talks about the moral and ethical implications as well as a few legal things as well. We also have a uh, citation guide for MLA. You're going to be using MLA citation throughout the course. So if you need the refresher, I have a video for you as well. Um, and there's a video on the ethics of technical writing. So your homework, you have a reading quiz um, on the readings uh, and a quick refresher quiz for MLA citation. Um, again, make sure that you kind of look those over before doing those quizzes. And then you have your discussion forum. That's your main assignment for this week. So in your discussion forum, I'm asking you to throw out a couple ideas of processes that you're aware of. Um, remember last week we talked about who you were and your demographics and your skills and knowledge and, and all that kind of thing. What do you bring with you when you start reading something? What do you know and what do you need to know? Um, here, I want you to think about your skills and your knowledge as a writer, somebody who could explain a process to someone else. Um, and I put this as a discussion forum instead of an assignment because I think that it's helpful to get some peer feedback on this. So think about when answering your, your peers and commenting on the posts of others really help them to say which one of these two or three ideas you think would be best. Um, we have a scope of a project with writing a manual that including a cover sheet, it's gonna be about five pages long. So what can you write about in that amount of pages? Um, what can you write about where you can include an infographic or a diagram, which is gonna be part of the assignment um, and that kind of thing. So really, uh, number one, when you're doing this assignment, think about what skills and knowledge you have and the scope of the project. Uh, you don't wanna, I had somebody one time try to do how to wash your hair for an assignment that was similar to this one, and it just doesn't work. I mean, put the shampoo on your head, scrunch it up, let the water run, right? There, there aren't a lot of directions for that. Uh, similarly, I had someone try one time to write about how to put out a, a particular type of electrical fire, and the, the directions and details for that were pages and pages and pages and pages. And um, you don't wanna kind of get into that either. You're not writing a book, right? It's gonna be about five pages long. So what is the process that you're thinking about? Um, who is your potential audience? What are the barriers to reaching that audience? We talked about audience a couple weeks ago for a reason. What might they not wanna read your document or why would they maybe not wanna to listen to you or what things will you maybe explain that might be over their head, right? Think about that. Um, then how you can overcome those barriers and then connecting to the rest of this unit, what are the ethical or legal uh, considerations that you have to keep in mind? So you're going through all of those five questions and then you're gonna do it again for your second idea. I want at least two, you can have three if you're kinda of not sure which direction to go into. Um, it's really 
difficult after next week to change your mind. So um, really think about this and uh, I can't wait to see your thoughts. I'm super excited. Thanks everybody.